Hi guys, it's Karen. I'm back for a quick update on my 100 days of making comics challenge series videos challenge and um, I have I, I, it's day 40 now the last time I filmed I think it was day 30 or actually I think it's day 41 but I'm recording what I did up to day 40 and I had this whole um, this file I had been working on this uh, this drawing here as a concept and I lost it but I had taken a screenshot so um, there's a third character over here and it's gone he's gone um, but it's okay so um, th basically what I've been doing is um, trying to write which is not update worthy really um, and I was working on this concept picture which is um, my main character this is on page th this is not a thumbnail or anything how I would actually probably draw it in the like on the page maybe because it's pretty static uh, I had planned on there's there's a third character here this sh the um, I guess he'd be about this the shorter guy heavy set he'd be here um, and, uh, I, it, it's, I mean, you can see these two here look like they're doing the tango down here. It's, I was doing them in separate layer. I had an original sketch and then I was drawing them in separate layers. Anyway, the, regardless, this is just a concept sketch. I just wanted to see, I was trying to refine, um, I was trying to refine the design of this guy here who is one of the henchmen, bodyguards. Um, I knew who this dude was here, and I had gotten her drawn. So I was just trying to just play around with like how they would interact on the page, how they would look, just practicing, really. And um, th this, what's really funny that I discovered is I had, I don't know if you'd watched the previous videos where I had said, that this character here reminded me of somebody, maybe Tasha Yar or somebody. And as I was drawing her in the last couple days on this, I realized she actually looks like an old character I had in a comic book project I was working on in college, which is really funny. And I hadn't even, like, it took me forever to figure that out. So basically I'm just, like, there must be something about the look of this character that I subconsciously like, and now I guess I'm using her in this. Um... That, that comic book I would love to work on, but it's um, very long involved. It, it's one of those that you don't, it's not one of those you do as your first, as your first book. It's one that you would try to do after you have some skill. So, um, yeah, so this is what I was doing. I was just playing around. Um, here's, his, here's Gregor's camera that she's taken from him. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. I wish I had a. Uh, I wish I hadn't lost the file, but that's okay. This, since this is just a concept sketch, I don't know what happened either because I always save before I close. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's just a concept. So anyway, that is um, what I've been doing. I've been noodling around with these. I was trying to nail down this guy's character uh, sketch. I'm pretty happy with him here. Um. I'm still, I don't, still don't have any consistency on my main character. She's pretty consistent, I feel like. And uh, the poor dude over here, I, I, his sketch is gone. I mean, his really, really, his other, his blue line sketch is gone. But I, I'll have to, I'll just have to pull up the reference on him. So I, because I was happy with his design. Um, so some things that I learned was that if you see down here, I really need to look up reference for suits. Um, my family are not the suit we suit wearing types, so I don't see them all the time. <laughs> so I'll have to pull up some reference and when I'm drawing them. And um, I think these will be blue jeans, so I got to figure out what kind of shoes he's wearing. These are just silly little details, but they're details that you need to figure out, right? Does he wear dress shoes? Does he wear cowboy boots under those jeans? Does he wear sneakers? Um, yeah, so that's, 
that's, uh, I think for like winging and I was doing a pretty good job on this suit coat. But yeah, I just need to look at some reference. And, um, it's just still noodling around with the, the, the writing. Haven't really progressed much on that. And, uh, so hopefully, uh, I will... I, I probably, now that I lost that file, I probably won't finish this drawing. I'll just save it as my concept sketch, uh, as a concept sketch, as one of my, yeah. Uh, I gotta try, I really want to try to get more writing done. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with how slow, oh, I also really need to look at some reference here. I cannot figure out, I know it, I know what the muscles are supposed to do. I cannot figure out how to draw arms in like this. So I just kind of, after struggling, I just fudged it and covered it with his clothes. I know that the tricep comes under, anyway, I'll need to look, I need to do some studying on that too. But, um, what was I going to say? But yeah, so I'm almost halfway now. I mean, I'm on day 40 and I'm realizing that this first 100 days of making comics challenge is really about learning how to do the 100 days of making comics. And it's about learning how to push through. I'm not, I'm not able to be as gung ho or hardcore as Gazbot, a fellow 100 member would say, um, due to many reasons pushing forward. Um, so I have a feeling that when I finish this, now I've got more than, you know, I still got 60 days left and, um, that's a lot of time. And I bet when I look back, having started with nothing, I have probably will have accumulated a lot. And so it will, you know, a lot of world building, character building, story, plot, everything I've done, it's all going to serve me for probably the second round. That's probably where, um, hopefully, because I plan on doing a second round, hopefully that's where I can really start cranking um, on this book project, the, my containment story. But, I mean, hopefully I can start getting some momentum going at the end and I can carry that over. So I'm trying not to be hard on myself and saying, gosh, you're just not as far along as you wanted to be and blah, blah, blah. And say, you know what, you've come a long way and you're just setting yourself up for the next 100 days and it's all good. So I've been struggling with that and uh, I, I have a lot of other things that I'm, I mean that's why we only have a half hour a day, right, on this stuff. Uh, kids, family, other commitments, other projects, other work, it all gets in the way. So, um, that's why if we just do at least 30 minutes, we're hitting our goal. So I am going to keep that in mind and not get frustrated and look at the end result and not on what I did or did not do today. I'm just going to be long-term focused and, um, not beat myself up. So if you guys are feeling like that, or if you have felt like that, and you have any tips or experiences with it to share, any other of you 100s, I'd love to hear them. And I'm going to get rid of this mess and go back to this project that I'm working on here. This is a coloring book page for that collection I'm doing. And um, aren't those snowmen cute? They're cute, right? Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go back and get to work and I will check in with you guys later. That's it. Thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.